As the situation in Palestine worsens, there's a report coming out from Russia uh, and from Putin who says that he's in close contact with both sides. Uh, Maria Zakharova says uh, uh, from um, the TASS news agency, we're in close contact with the leading regional players whose role in establishing the situation and creating conditions for establishing uh, direct Palestinian-Israeli dialogue is indispensable. A lot of the blame is being directed at Israel, uh, at um, America, and Hamas sent a delegation to Moscow in March, but it also says it has a lot in common with Israel, including the fact that many Israelis are former Russian citizens. This is from uh, the uh, information minister, uh, the information fellow, Peskov. And uh, Dmitry Peskov, Putin's spokesperson, uh, we intend to keep making efforts and play our role in terms of providing assistance to seek ways to a settlement. But Putin says that uh, although they are part of the quartet of powers helped to uh, the, the set up to mediate Israeli-Palestinian peace talks, uh, they, they, they don't seem to be hugely active. I think people will agree with me that this is a vivid example of the failure of United States policy in the Middle East, Putin said at the start of a meeting today with the Iraqi foreign, uh, with the Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed al-Sudani and he said that Washington was trying to monopolize efforts to forge peace between Israel and the Palestinians and not trying to compromise but instead to impose solutions particularly favoring the settler the Israeli settlers and he thinks that a Palestinian state is necessary and blamed the latest explosion of violence on US policy in the region. Actually, this was on Tuesday, not yesterday. And I think um, Putin's involvement in this story is hardly surprising. It is interesting that Hamas has recently been in Moscow, but the links are worrying.